Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to Your Questions Answered. Today we're going to be talking about the question, my stock is up, should I sell? So let's get into the first slide. So should, I, sh should you sell? It all depends on why. So let's look at the first one. Like, why do you want to sell? So if you want to sell because you need the cash to pay for something either now or in the near future, then for me, that is a situation where I would sell. And I would sell till I have the cash that you need. So for example, let's say you had some shares of a company like Netflix. Maybe you had $100,000 in Netflix, and then you needed to buy something like a like a new car. Say your car broke down and then you need a new car. The new car, uh, it costs maybe like, I don't know, $40,000 in total after everything. Now, I would not sell all my $100,000 $100, worth of Netflix. I would just sell enough of Netflix to cover the car, so enough to get uh, $40,000 worth uh, from, the, from that uh, sale. After taxes, of course, you want to factor in taxes from your sale because you're making a capital gain. So if you did um, withdraw, you would need to withdraw a little bit more. So maybe like, uh, I don't know the exact tax amount, but just just as an example, say uh, say you withdrew maybe $50,000, and then just hypothetically, the tax would be 10000 You would have to pay $10,000 in taxes on that gain, then that would leave you with 40 k for the car. So just uh, take out as much as you need for the car and don't take out more. So that, that way you can pay for you what, what you want to pay for and also for the taxes too. So yeah. And also, uh, next situation, if you want to buy a different stock with the cash. So for me, that would be a no. And why? You want to water your flowers and trim your weeds. If your stock went up, then that's considered a flower. That's like a really good investment. If you uh, want to take some of that money and get uh, sell it, it's like you're trimming your flowers and then you're going to water something that might be a flower, but it might be a weed, but you don't want to do that. You want to water your flowers, keep your winners winning, and trim your weeds. So if you want to buy a different stock, just do it with like new cash. So yeah. Uh, next, uh, maybe you have too much cash in the stock and you're having trouble sleeping at night. In that case, I would sell. So uh, I would sell until it reaches an amount that uh, you're comfortable with for you. So for example, let's say uh, let's say Netflix again. You have a hundred thousand dollars in Netflix. Maybe your original investment was like ten thousand and it just skyrocketed to a hundred thousand. If you have a hundred thousand dollars in there and it's like it's uncomfortable for you, like you're you're up at night and you just can't sleep because it's it just feels like your position in Netflix is too big, then I would sell some of it, not all of it, some of it, sell some of it until it reaches a point where you are comfortable with that amount in Netflix. So maybe you're comfortable with having, I don't know, $50,000 in Netflix, then sell it until it reaches that $50,000 mark. So yeah. Uh, next situation, maybe you're scared the stock will crash. Well, why do you think the stock will crash? Do you think uh, that uh, the stock is, the company is no longer good, like you no longer believe in the company and you don't think it will do well in the future and you no longer like their products? Well, in that case, then yeah, I would sell. I would sell everything. If something changed about the company and then you don't like their products anymore and it's just, you feel like they're, the company will no longer do well in the future, then that's a situation where I would sell everything, especially if you're up and then maybe they announced something big that you just, it's like crazy, like why would they announce that and they're, they're just changing their whole business and you don't like it. And then in that case, in that rare situation, that is when I would sell everything, get out of that stock. Uh, but if it did, if it went up so high and it's bound to crash soon, like if that's what you're thinking, like maybe you owned, like we'll do Netflix again, like Netflix, it went up 10,000% or 1,000% or something like that. You're just, you feel like it's going to crash. That is a situation where I would not sell because winners win. You want to let your winners run high and you don't always know how high is high. Like for you, Right now, it just went up like crazy, and then you think right now it's high, and it'll just go up even more, and then you're going to look back to the past. It's like, oh, man, I shouldn't have sold back then. So just keep it. Winners win. Let your winners run high. 
uh, next. Uh, oh yeah, this chart. So I wanted to do an example of winners uh, of winners winning and uh, letting your winners run high. So for example, this is a stock chart from April 2017 to April 2018. This stock went up uh, 159.94% in that year. So for example, if you had $100 that $100 would have turned into $259.94. So it just went up like crazy. So would you sell or would you hold? Well, if you were to hold after a year later from April 2017 to April 2019, that would have given you a 533.46% gain. So that means that your $100 would have then turned into 633 point, uh, $633.46, as opposed to last year, $259.94. So in this situation, what would you do? Would you sell or would you hold? It went up even more. It's going up like crazy. So one year later, April 2017 to April 20, uh, April 2020, it did go down a little bit more. So it's up 331.78% uh, gain. That means your $100 would have turned into $431.78, as opposed to last year, if you did sell, it would have been $633.46. So what would you do now? It's like it went up like crazy, and then now you're starting to see it go down a lot. It's like, do I want to sell while I'm ahead, or do I want to just hold? Well, for me, this stock is still winning. It went up like crazy. Not every year is good. So what would you have had if you had held till today, November 21, 2021? you would have had a 1,716.70% gain. That's from April 2017 to November 2021. So that means that your $100 would have turned into $1,816.70. So that's from the April 27, 2017 till today, November 2021. And you know what? For for most people, many people will think that this is already high. It could go even higher because it, there's just there's no limit to how high a stock could go. It could go up ten times from here. So many of you are probably wondering what stock is this. Well, this is Etsy. So yeah, if you guys are interested in checking out Etsy's chart, you can go on to barchart.com and see the same chart for yourself. And yeah, for me, I hold Etsy in my personal account, and I am still holding because winners win, win in general. So yeah, let your winners run high. That's the main takeaway from this. Let them run high. And the problem is sometimes we don't know what high is. Sometimes we think a stock price is already high and then it goes up 10 times in value. So for example, like back here, uh, this 159.94% gain, many people would think, oh, that is already high. I've already let it run high. But they don't know that this is is nothing compared to the future. Like this, like this, this 533.46%, it went even higher. Then it went even higher. There is no limit. So let them run high. And yeah, they don't know what high is. And uh, the solution to that, uh, we want to hold on as long as you believe the company has a bright future. Hold on as long as you do not need cash to pay for something now or in the near future. So once again, uh, sometimes we don't know what a high, what high is, and we think a stock price is already high, and then it goes up like crazy. So just hold on as long as you believe in the company, as long as you believe the company has a bright future, and as long as you do not need the cash to pay for something now or in the near future. Because you want to let your winners run high. And as I said before, winners win in the long run, mostly. Not 100% of the time, nothing is 100% of the time in the stock market, but mostly. So, yeah, uh, nothing is ever 100% guaranteed in the stock market. And this brings us to our next problem. The problem is you cannot predict the future. We don't know for certain if a stock will continue to go up or go bankrupt. Like for me, I don't know for sure that all of my picks will go up. It's just my best guess. I cannot predict the future. I have no crystal ball. This is just my best guess. So what do you do? What do you do when, if you, when you don't know for certain if a stock will continue to go up or if it will go bankrupt? Well, 
this is when uh, as long as you still love the uh, product and as long as you still believe in the company and as long as you believe it will do well in the future and you don't need the cash anytime soon just hold it just hold it and why because the most you can lose is a hundred percent but the most you can gain is infinite and one stock can more than make up for all of your losers combined so let's say you had 10 stocks nine nine of those stocks went to zero worst case situation you lost 100 percent in nine of those stocks that one stock that you held on to that can go up infinitely that the profits from that one stock it can make up for all of those other nine losers combined and more because there is no limit on how much you can gain there is only a limit on how much you can lose so yeah that is the solution as long as you still love it just hold it hold it as long as you love it and as long as you don't need the cash anytime soon so yeah anyway that was uh the presentation for today uh for more information feel free to check out my discord on the discord i post uh, portfolio updates uh before they happen and you can also ask questions to me on the discord and yeah it just it shows uh all of the different portfolios that i have and all of the things I'm doing with them. And if you want to just look at the portfolios, you can check out the Google Sheets link in the description below. For the Google Sheets link, I am trying to outperform the market, which is the S&P 500 or the Spider, whatever you want to call it. So feel free to, to check out the Google Sheets below. And also, if you're, check, if you're interested in more YouTube videos, you can check out my playlists. I have a Getting Started in the Stock Market Portfolio portfolio for both whole shares and fractional shares so you can check that out if you want i also have a one thing i wish i knew playlist in the uh, on my channel and also there's the playlist that this video is in which is the your questions answered playlist so yeah and uh, oh also uh one more thing i just want to give uh thanks to a company called freepick.com and also slidesgo.com uh flat icon and yeah and why am I giving thanks to them? Well, that's because that these are the people who created the template that I'm using in this presentation and it was all free. So I'm just giving them credit. If you're interested in making a slideshow similar to this with the same template, you can just go to slidesgo.com and use this, uh, like, use this type of template as well in your presentation. So yeah, that's it for today's video and I hope you guys have a good day.